All right, greetings, Kiss Nation. This is going to be a Kiss topic, and this Kiss topic is going to revolve around Gene Simmons and his solo band. Apparently, Gene's ready to get back on the road, and I'm kind of curious to see, you know, if this is the beginning of many shows Gene's is going to do this year, or is this just a one-off show that Gene's going to be doing? You know, I'm, I'm curious, because, you know... Anyways, I'll read this top, this article, then we'll discuss... Kiss bassist Gene Simmons will be performing with a solo band, the Gene Simmons Band, on Friday, April 26th at the Brazilian edition of the Summer Breeze Festival at... I can't pronounce that. It's in another language. In addition, the Gene Simmons Band members for this date will include guitarist Brett Woods and Zach Bourne alongside drummer Brian Tick... Ticky? I don't know. Sounds like it's got different members than the original Gene Simmons solo band, which, you know, is now Ace's new band. Back in 2017 and 18, the Gene Simmons band played a number of shows with a lineup that consisted of Simmons alongside drummer, alongside guitarist bassist Jeremy Asbrook, guitarist Ryan Cook, guitarist Bill Shouse, and drummer Brett Fitz. That was the band that I thought was really good for Gene Simmons, but he gave it to Ace Frehley, which, you know, okay, like, very good band for Gene, you're also a great band for Ace. Six years ago, Simmons started about his, his solo shows doing these smaller concert halls, which hold 1,000 to 3,000 people, it means they get filled up by real diehard fans. We don't want to hear the same old, same old, they want to hear nuggets, as they say. It's a, it's a hoot for me because I've never really had a chance to do this stuff live. It's been a lot of fun, Gene told the Chicago Sun-Times. Well, half the stuff, you know, has been played on cruises, but half this stuff has never been played on cruises. Like, um, originally, with the original version of the Gene Simmons band, they did Charisma, which Gene has never done Charisma with Kiss, which... I wouldn't pay money to hear Kiss do Charisma. Um, they did I, which, that's cool. I mean, Kiss has done I for the cruise, but to hear it done with Gene's band, that's that's cool. Um, Almost Human. They've done She's a European. Again, like, the fact that Gene did it with his band first before Kiss did it, that's that says it all right there. That Gene wants to play these deep songs, but you know that Paul's in control of the set list and you know, just says that says it all. That Gene wants to play these songs. What's funnier is that in two thousand eighteen when Gene said that he hates playing I think eleven year, his he can he still plays the song with his band. When he's in control of the set list, he still pulls out that song, his most hated song, in his opinion. Which, to me, that's, that's funny. But this is all how much he cares about, about about his fans. Who do love that song. By the end, I get the chance to bring as many people from the audience as we can fit on the stage to sing with me. Which is true. Um... He brought... Actually, he brings some people on to sing Us Miracle Loving You, so he doesn't have to sing it himself. Like, I would laugh my ass off if I hear Jing sing Us Miracle Loving You, which... He he does do the, the do-do-do's, but it, it's... His reaction is, is what kills me, because, you know... It, it's funny. It's always... But the people that get on to sing Us Miracle Loving You, like, it's cool. Like, um... There was one chick in Australia that um, did a really bang up job, and Gene was giving ready to pay her. Then she told Gene, "That's not enough, man." That was really funny. Um, another one that I thought was was really awesome was in Lynn, and where Gene brought on this this b b blind dude to do Doctor Love, and he just nailed it right out of the ballpark. Nail Gene's voice and everything. It 
got Gene to laugh. Like it was, it, it was fucking cool. It was fucking cool. I loved that performance. And here we go. Regarding how the idea for a solo tour came out about Simmons told us feelings advertiser in 2018, the Simmons band was not a plan for anything about a year ago. Cooperative event asked me to keynote be a keynote speaker. Then they said, Won't you get up and sing a few tunes? I explained, but you can't just do that. You've gotta have a band and rehearse and all that. They said, Well, we'll pay you X amount of dollars more and I said I like you <laughs> felt like Gene so I put together a band from Nashville these guys back up Kid Rock and lots of other people got a single rehearsal I just told them which songs I wanted to do and they learned them it just sounded natural there is such a there is such a thing called chemistry but you don't teach that anywhere I mean they do teach chemistry but not the kind I'm talking about. Alright. It felt right, and as soon as the video went on YouTube and such, people were calling this the, this little Gene Simmons band never tried to be Kiss. It was just a little bit of fun and stuff. Now all of a sudden, we're headlining festivals in Czech Republic, Canada, Germany. It's crazy. Alright, Kiss played the final two cards of the end of the road tour on December 2nd. I, I know all this stuff. Alright, so that's the end of the article. So what's my opinion on this? Well, my opinion on this... I think it's cool that Gene wants to get back out there and uh, and do more shows. I am not surprised that he wants to do that. I, I, it didn't take long. I'm not surprised he still wants to do it. Um, I'm curious to see like if Gene, how many shows Gene wants to do with his solo band. Does he like want to do like a one-off show like this, do festivals, or does he like just want to have a, or does he like, have, have a tour planned? Excuse me. Like, does he have a tour playing with the solo band? Or he's just going to do the festival and call it quits? For right now, all he's got planned is the festival, which is cool. But I am curious to know, does Gene have more shows scheduled with, with, with a solo group? It is a different group than what he had originally, which, you know, does make me curious to see how, how good they are. The last one was, you know, fucking amazing. I... I love that group he had. But anyways, I, I am curious to see, you know, what this year will have in store for Gene, have in store for Paul. If Paul does plan to do more Soul Station stuff, you know, that's not my thing. I'm more into what Gene has because it's more in aligned with, in terms of Kiss related because he is playing Kiss songs and well, they're, they're Gene songs. While Paul is doing, you know, his thing, which is cool. It's just not really what I'm into. So that's my word on the matter. Hope you guys enjoyed this topic. What do you guys think about this? Gene going back on the road later this year to do, like, a, a festival. And do you... What do you guys think? Do you hope there's going to be more shows with, with the Gene Simmons solo band? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, hope you guys enjoyed this topic. And until then, I'll see you next time. Later.